Hello my dear jewellery lovers, today I will tell you the story of the jewels that Princess Diana had, to do with the famous British crown necklaces and the stranger char I would like, to remember about a very similar, but still different necklaces of the British royal family, which are known to us also because Princess Diana wore them, and for sweetness, an interesting tiara belonging to the Spencers, which I have already told you a booth first jewel, is the diamond necklace of King Faisal of Saudi Arabia. It was created in 1952 by jeweler Harry Winston. The necklace was not originally intended to be sold. Winston used it as an advert for his diamond products. However, 15 years later, King Faisal himself took notice of it. In 1967, he was due to visit the UK and the chic piece of jewelry became a gift for Queen Elizabeth II Frankly speaking, it was a more than worthy gift. The total weight of diamonds that make up the necklace is 84 carats. I think no queen could resist such beauty. Besides the luxurious appearance, the necklace has one more important plus. Its origin is authentically known. That is, it can be worn without fear that some dark story will emerge, defaming the honor of the crown. In fact, Queen Elizabeth enjoyed using this fact and very often appeared in Faisal's necklace at various events. To the general public, the jewel is well known by the photo of Princess Diana in 1983. Then the Queen lent it to her young daughter-in-law for an official reception. The necklace, consisting of a generous scattering of diamonds, harmonized perfectly with the blue dress and eyes of the princess. Our second hero today is King Holid's diamond necklace which he presented to Queen Elizabeth II in 1979 during her visit to Saudi Arabia. The same jeweler Harry Winston created this piece in 1978, and King Khalid bought it almost immediately. Ideologically, it is very similar to the previous one, but if you put them side by side, the differences are clearly present. The Queen has worn it on numerous occasions. The necklace can be seen in photos from the 1980 film premiere. Visits to France and Malta in 2004 and 2005 respectively. Princess Diana also wore the jewel several times in the early 1980s. At that time she was a happy young wife, so the brilliance of diamonds perfectly emphasized her shining eyes, but later the necklace was worn only by Elizabeth herself, and it is one of the most frequently worn jewelry pieces. And now for the promised dessert. This is a tiara with honeysuckle which belonged to the Spencer family since the 19th century. I'll tell you right away that I don't like it at all from the point of view of its appearance, but as a family heirloom it definitely deserves attention. I do not like this tiara because of the fact that for some reason it has a mixture of completely incompatible details. These are graceful diamond-shaped honeysuckles that grow out of a Greek key pattern, decreasing from the center outwards. One gets the feeling that these are two different tiaras that have been combined into one, and it should be noted that the jewellery used to still have a base of large diamonds, but it was removed over time. Interestingly, Princess Diana never wore this tiara, but her grandmother, Lady Cynthia Hamilton, wore it at the coronation of Elizabeth II. Could she imagine what threads in the future will connect her granddaughter with the Queen? By the way, there is a photo of Lady Di in a tiara with honeysuckle on the net, but it is just a montage and not particularly well done. Which necklace do you like the most? Write a comment.